overflows. Orgasm, a deep, subtle phenomena. Orgasm is not release, instead a celebration. Indeed, orgasm is a deep, subtle phenomenon that happens when energy flows within, between various centers. What we see or know outside at the level of the body is mere manifestation of inner happening. This inner explosion of energy can and does happen because of causes other than sex as well. But man can only relate orgasm with sex because of condition. Orgasm is a state in which you no longer perceive your body as matter, but you start to vibrate as energy or electricity. The vibration is so deep and so profound that you forget completely that it is still a material phenomenon. It becomes an electric phenomenon during or orgasm. You reach the deepest layer of your body where matter ceases to exist and where only energy waves are. You become a dancing energy as soon as you start to pulse and leave matter behind, all boundaries cease to exist for you. It is as if you are filled with an uncontrollable, infinite reservoir of energy coming to you from all sides. There are two types of peaks or two types of orgasm. One type of orgasm is generally known. You reach the peak of excitement and you cannot go any further. It is over. However, Tantra is concerned with a different type of orgasm. If we think of the first type of orgasm as of a peak, we can think of the tantric orgasm as of a valley. The thing is that with the second type, you do not reach the peak of excitement. Instead, the deep valley of relaxation, both types, require some excitement at the beginning. That is why I say that the beginning is always the same, but the end is completely different. If you can merge with the excitement without escalating it, if you can stay at the beginning without turning too hot, if you can stay just warm, then you will meet the other. Being just as warm as you and you can stay in the embrace for a long time. And so the act becomes an act of meditation without any release, without any wastage of energy. This is how one can reach eternity. Sexual orgasm needs time. The more, the better, because then it penetrates the deeper layers of your being into your mind and into your soul. This is how it can spread 
from head to toe. Each fiber of your body will be vibrating. Your whole body becomes an orchestra and switches to crescendo. But if you are in a hurry, the orgasm becomes a mere release of energy, release, and it is no longer orgasm. It will be a just local and senseless. In actual fact, you will feel tired, frustrated, and depressed after this experience that you know as orgasm because your energy will be wasted without giving you refreshment and so the whole act was just senseless. <coughs> If you keep thinking about orgasm, it will become your goal and the whole thing will be too much calculated. Under such conditions, it is very difficult to reach the orgasm. Your dilemma is following. If you strive to achieve orgasm, it will be difficult to achieve because you are seeking it you are longing for it and you are not involved totally but this is how each one of us engages in this act your mind is concerned with orgasm you are trying to make out whether you will achieve it today or not. And this anxiety weakens your sexual center. Your sexual center can open when, only when you are fearless. There is no kind of fear in you when you are not concerned with the result at all, when you do not think about future, when your activity is not aimed at its goals, when you are simply playing, it is beautiful to play with someone's body and when somebody else is playing with your body, Nothing but two bodies dancing in harmony with one another, embracing and caressing. That creates a beautiful symphony. And I said, your body is an orchestra when two musical instruments are playing together in a kind of a as we call in musical language Jugal Bandi. Then it is a beautiful symphony. There is no need to think about orgasm and then it comes all of a sudden. Its beauty lies exactly in this it comes all of a sudden. It is not important though whether it happens or not. Just forget about it. When it happens, it comes. Welcome it. Be totally into it. Completely absorbed, dancing, flowing, yet totally aware of what it is happening to you at the level of the gross, the body, and 
how does it relate to your innerness after that you should be relaxed and totally serene in meditative state that's why and as i said even without the physical interaction one can get inner orgasm when i speak about buddha's inner orgasm it will be of a much deeper nature the word gautam is very pious it comes from the two words go and tam we say that english word go belongs to the english language it is not it has been borrowed from sanskrit go means movement tam means darkness going beyond darkness going beyond darkness is the essence of gautam and for that matter each name each word has a very important significance that need to be understood when as i am going deeper into the various layers of orgasm i will explain the meaning of certain words and their origin in the sanskrit language how these are related to human life enough for now